The saphitous nerve block is useful for medial knee surgery, medial leg surgery, and medial ankle and foot surgery. The saphitous nerve is a continuation of the femoral nerve below the knee. This is a good block to do in conjunction with a popliteal sciatic nerve block to give you complete anesthesia below the knee. To perform the saphenous nerve block, we typically use a linear probe. The linear probe allows us to get good resolution and reasonable penetration. Typical settings for the saphenous nerve block start between four and six centimeters total depth, expecting the nerve to be between two and four centimeters. Now the saphenous nerve is a small nerve and we may not see it in everybody. In fact, most people we don't see it in. The reason we do a saphenous nerve block is that we don't take away any quadriceps muscles and so the patient will have no quadriceps muscle weakness. To get a saphenous nerve you may also do a femoral block but by doing a femoral block you may or you will take out all your quadriceps. So this technique I'm going over is a great technique for outpatient surgery because their quadriceps muscle strength will be intact. This technique I'm using is useful in elderly and obese patients because we're using muscle landmarks rather than nerve or other small landmarks. So we usually start about 10 centimeters above the knee and put the probe on the medial side of the leg. We can abduct the leg a little bit to give us better visualization here. Now when we put the probe on here, we like to start more anterior. This gives us a view of the femur, the hyperechoic stripe here, as well as the vastus medialis. The vastus medialis can pretty much be found in everybody. We're going to slide the probe posterior next. The next muscle we'll come across is the sartorius muscle. There, now we see the vastus medialis muscle ending and see the sartorius muscle in view now. There are many anatomical differences in patient to patient. The saphenous nerve can run anterior to the sartorius muscle, posterior to the sartorius muscle, and I've even seen it piercing the sartorius muscle. So the whole key is, is that we will put our local anesthetic below the sartorius muscle in order to get a good saphenous nerve block. Most of the time we're doing a field type block where we deposit the local behind the sartorius muscle and expect that that local will get to the nerve because these nerves can be difficult to see in obese or elderly patients. So now our needle approach is going to be using a 10 centimeter needle. This needle will be inserted a few centimeters away from the probe in this angle. We like to see the needle in a shallow plane and then advance it deeper below the sartorius muscle. This block can also be performed if the patient is prone. Imagine my needle coming from the other side. Typical volumes used here are between 5 and 20 milliliters of local anesthetic. If a good nerve is seen, usually represented by a hyperechoic structure, then I'll just place 5 milliliters. Most patients, we do not see the individual nerve here, and we will place 10 milliliters as a type of field block in this area. Here, our needle is advancing through the vastus medialis. We try to position the tip of the needle underneath the sartorius muscle, which is located to the right of the screen. You can see the hyperechoic areas some of which may represent the nerve. Our needle is now directly below the sartorius muscle and you can see the local anesthetic spreading below the sartorius muscle to track to the saphenous nerve. 